This will be the last video I take of a stove that I've had for more than 50 years. This is one of the best wood stoves I ever had. It's a Montgomery Wards. It's rusted out now down on the farm. And this stove is repairable. There was a place in uh, Oklahoma that would completely replace all of the sheet metal on this stove. And I was going to have him do that. Anyway, this has got cast iron legs on it. Everything that's last cast iron on the stove. There's a ash bin. Things here. I'll go around here and let you. I'm talking to the camera and this is Larry he's our neighbor that helped me a lot there's the front of the stove I've seen some of them on YouTube this one here is in really bad shape because it's sitting there for 26 years down on that farm with all that high humidity the oven is pretty well rusted out also but that all can be replaced Anyway, this, they used to sell kits for these stoves because the cast iron doesn't wear out as long as you don't try to burn it completely up. This is what happens a lot of times when people have these stoves that are sheet metal and they ran them without a firebox liner. But this one has the firebox liner. Here's the double griddles for it down there. I know it's hard for you to see it, but those are double griddles. Uh, they, these little stoves like this, they cooked a lot of pancakes and Johnny cakes and things on top of them. All this, the cast iron is still very good in the stove. There's where you cleaned it out down below. This stove is so light that I used to take it out of, my, out of the house myself and uh, take it outside and wash it out a couple times a year when I lived here in Fish Lake Valley before. And I think I told you in the past one time I th this stove was red hot with bristlecone pine driftwood in it. And I like to, scared me to death. There is the warming ovens. The warming ovens are not the ovens that came with the stove. It had a shelf on top of it, just a warming shelf. And I'll show you that warming shelf. Say hi, Larry. Hi there. <laughs> I'll show you what a warming shelf looks like. That's a warming shelf on another stove right there. Now that had a warming shelf like that on it originally. But Hank Patterson's mother, I believe it was, his mother or wife, he called her mother. And uh, the boys had gone down there one day and had thrown away the warming ovens. And they were in the dump. And he said, Jim, go down there and get those warming ovens. They'll fit right on your stove. So I went down there. Got the warming ovens and they fit right on my stove, as you can see. And that's been 45 years ago when that happened. Warming ovens are really nice. Now, that was a stove that she had was a Montgomery Ward, same model. I don't know what happened to the stove. It must have been gone years ago. They had chicken feed in there. But you can look at the handles on that and the handles on that on, and the warming ovens are the same. So if you get a stove like this, you can see the, uh, the shaker inside there that shakes the ashes down with a little handle. All the stove is definitely repairable, but you just got to get somebody that has sheet metal and you can't use galvanized sheet metal. Galvanized sheet metal put off a toxic gas. So here, this is all again, this is cast iron here. This is sheet metal there. These are cast iron legs, cast iron little shelf on the side, all of the, uh, the plate caps and the top of that are all here someplace. I've got to find the box that they're in. We put them in a box. And 
Anyway, there's a, a Montgomery Ward's wood burning cook stove. That was a little, the small stove. It had double, if I could get here to that, I can't. It had double grill on it, which I really like. And there's a plate that goes across the top and then the proof plate caps on it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe also. I hope this is helping you people out there that are trying to restore some of these stoves. This is restorable. It just takes somebody with some know-how to, to bend and do the plates. All of the solid part of the stove is cast iron. Thank you for watching. God bless you.